Scorpio, Scorp Scorpio, what is going on, baby? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Tarot, and I am back at it one more time for the one time. Yes, indeed, baby, I am here to let you know on this wonderful Valentine's Day. Shout out to all my babies, happy Valentine's Day to you. I'm gonna let you know what energies are surrounding you for the month of February 2020. You know, it is show me the money season. Shout out to all my divine masculines, it is y'all takeover season. Why y'all out here getting these coins, collecting these checks, making them show you some respect. Shout out to all my Scorpion men out there, okay, out there taking over the place, okay. Shout out to all my divine feminines, all my ladies, all right. We're going to get into this energy. Shout out to all my OGs, all my newbies. Thanks every last one of you for clicking this video and showing me some type of love and support. Um... All of these decks here have been provided by you. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys sent throughout 2019. You guys just sent me these wonderful books that just came in the mail, you guys. The Mercury Retrograde book. And you know the Mercury Retrograde is coming right on around, honey. Well, y'all ain't send me no fancies, but shout out. Oh, is this fancies? No, bitch, this fashion over, bitch. Who got some fashion over? Goddamn lingeries. Who, who got that good lingeries popping on for the good Valentine's Day, girl? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I ain't know that they lingeries was looking like this, Miss Fashion Nova. Yes, girl. Come on, girl. All right. But you know, I'm a fancy bitch. I'm a fancy bitch. Anyway, I'm sorry. I also got the Moonology book here, which I already say I start reading. I also have the Moonology decks. So this is like a delicious treat for me. I love, love reading. Thank you guys so much for sending me all of this stuff through the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. If you guys want to book a reading with me, all you got to do is click the about tab. My pricing list is there to connect with me. You send me a message on Instagram. Um, if you want to email me, you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you do not have Instagram and you want to book a reading with me, we can do the video reading on Google Hangouts. All right. It's an easy app to download. And the only thing that you need to connect with me on Google Hangouts is my email email again which is scorpionreds at gmail.com so i just want to thank every last one of you thank you every last one of you that sends donations and love just support and offerings and stuff through the paypal through the amazon wish list through the um cash apps thank you to everyone that's been given smart chats um i think that's what they call smart uh super super chats super chats thank you guys for all of the support i really love you guys and i am so so thankful so let's say a quick prayer over the energy you guys father god thank you so much for bringing us here today thank you so much for beaming down your light on us we feel your warmth we feel your comfort we feel your grace father god um we thank you for being in this safe place in our life father god we feel your blessed abundant hand just guiding us throughout this journey giving this our footsteps and this path to follow father, uh, father god and we just are just so determined we're diligent to not only make you proud but make ourselves proud first you know it's like this is so much of a self journey father god it's like when we look at ourselves in a mirror every day we love deeply love it's an enriching love when we see our reflection in the mirror, we are strengthening ourselves. We are developing our skills every day, Father God. And we're starting to really, really love and appreciate the reflection that we see every day. And it's all because of you. And you're teaching us how to love ourselves, how to love each other, how to let go of certain stuff. Because, you know, we got a problem with holding grudges. We've been letting go grudges in the name of Jesus. All right. Amen, Father. Come on. We are receiving all of that because it's like... We can't keep holding on this stuff anymore. We need a light load so that we can travel far. Okay? So we're going real far, Father God. And we thank you so much for deliverance. We thank you so much, Father God. We thank you so much for where we pleasantly stand. And we thank you so much for your design plan for our future. Because it's all because of you. And I already know that our future is paved in gold, baby. So we thank you so much. So, give us guidance for my Scorpios for February 2020 and show me the money season. We are making everyone show us their worth. You got to show us their worth, but we ain't got no time for you because our time is precious, okay? And we got a path plated in solid gold, baby. And we don't have not a single solitary time to waste when we're working towards our destiny and our future. Father God, put your hands on us. Give us guidance. Amen. Amen. Let's get into this. 
Mm -mm. I mean, mm -mm. I just mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen that first card that was right there, but that was some woman wrapped up with a snake. Mm -mm. Not this time. No, no, no. No, no, no. It says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Scorpio. It's like God is seeing you throughout this journey. And it's like you are facing the jungle. It's like you in the jungle. You in the concrete jungle. Like navigating your way through this jungle. Through this forest. It's like I'm feeling like. Y'all know Jumanji, right? Y'all know, um, oh, I'm forgetting what, uh, The Rock's character is in Jumanji. But, you know, the natural character, before they get sucked in the game, it's like this cute, little, meek, mild mannered kid and stuff. Like, he's so skinny and, you know, very shy and all of this stuff. But when he's in the game, he is this big superhero. I mean, he's like The Rock. He has all of this power and everything like that. So it's like, I feel like you guys are trying to harness and manifest like your alter ego. Like this person that you see that's deep inside you. Like the jungle of Jumanji. Like your character like is, what's his name? Something Braveheart. Braveheart. It's like. Sasha Braveheart. Okay, girlfriend, you was Miss Sasha Braveheart, bitch. You know, and we get it and we see it and we know that. And like, that's who you've been manifesting yourself to be. And that's who you've been becoming. But, and God see you. God see you flipping it, 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 jumping over trees and like working with nature and doing all of this good stuff like we see you but at the same time I want you to pace yourself because I feel like you're trying to get to your destiny it's like you're too eager and it's like I don't want you to hurt yourself doing all these flips and stunts and acrobatics and stuff like trying to show your skill and I don't think that you're trying to you trying to show it to yourself it's like <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's like you don't have to do 50 jumping jacks in the morning. You can just do 10. You understand? Like you don't have to do 50 jumping jacks. You can just do 10. So that's what I'm getting. It's like you doing it just because now you have the skill to do it. So it's like you pushing your body to the max a little bit. And I don't want you to do that. Like give it time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Like, everything is coming. Okay. We got healing, and then we got look inside yourself. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Like, what is causing you to feel like you have to push your body to the max right now? It's like, you have to pace yourself. Because you have so much... You have so, so much more to go. You have so much, you have so much ahead of you that you're going to need that energy. Do you understand? You need to really store your energy. So, like, stop trying to exert yourself. Stop trying to impress other people. That's what Spirit just told me to tell you. Like, it's like you're trying too hard. Look inside yourself and make yourself understand like why you are trying so hard or why you were pushing your body and yourself to the max this is also someone that's trying to work on their own self-esteem um like their weight they're trying to get their weight up um i feel like this is someone trying to gain weight like I have a cousin that she's always been like very, very petite, very skinny and things. And you know, like how a lot of people, they are working to lose weight. No, she's working to gain weight. And a lot of times when people say stuff to her like, oh, like you too skinny or or they can say certain things to her that would trigger her about her weight because, you know, so this could be someone like trying to be a weight builder or like a weight gainer or something like that and it's like I feel like you need to watch it because you're going to get the body or you're going to get the image like when you look at yourself you're going to get to see what you want to see but do not try to do things too fast too hard or like um I don't know some of you could be using dieting pills or weight gaining pills like don't 
do that. Like, you're already keeping a good momentum with what you're doing. And you're going to get your desired results with doing what you're doing already. Like, don't do too much because you're going to gain too much weight. Or you're going to fuck yourself up, like, basically. And you need to look inside yourself and figure out, like, why are you trying to go to the max right now when you don't have to do 50? You could just do 10 and be perfect. You know what I'm saying? It says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So let's put this in regards to a relationship thing. Um, and... I'm going to say it like this because I'm a Scorpio myself. Like, I know how I could be when, like, say I just broke up with somebody and we've been separated for, like, I'm going to say two years, right? We've been separated for two years. And, like, things are just now healing. Things are just now getting it, getting itself back together and you know, through times, everything will really heal itself. Like, it it wouldn't make no sense for me trying to go outside myself and, like, try to over-cater, try to over-saturate uh, uh, this love, you know what I'm saying, to try to make it heal faster or something like that. Like, Oh, if I know that this person likes this, so I'm buying them gifts or I'm cooking them their favorite food every day or I'm trying to bring them lunch every day. Where it's like I'm going out of my way to inconvenience myself because I'm trying to show this person that I'm trying to go above and beyond to heal this situation, to make it better. So that's like to say, if you know that in the past that one of the things that you could have did better is to make sure that you cooked a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you were always buying fast food. So now it's like, like I said, you're, you're, you're bringing this person a homemade meal every day. Or you don't, and it's like you don't have to do it every day. Just the fact that this person sees that you are making an effort to change some of the habits or some of the things that might have created some friction in the past. So it's just something that you know that you needed to work on um, in the past. It's like they appreciate you making the effort. Like you don't have to overkill. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like even seeing someone trying too hard, it seems like it's unnatural. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't naturally... I know you. You wouldn't naturally go and make a home cooked meal like you trying to throw a Thanksgiving spread every fucking day. I know you. Like on Fridays, you don't cook on Fridays. We already know on Fridays we eating out. So, like, why are you... It's like, you know what I'm saying? Because you might not be able to keep that shit up because that's not naturally you. It's like you trying too hard to heal something. And it's like you got to look inside yourself to kind of figure out why you are pushing yourself to the max like that do you understand what i'm saying like yeah let me blow this out that motherfucker was yes honey that motherfucker oh i smell that yes i smell good okay let's put another let's put another yeah it's like it's like Learning how sometimes when certain things are already overdone and it's time to blow it out and switch things up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> you gotta know when it's overkill, when things are overdone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was overdone. It was just time to switch it up or go to something new. Give me guidance for my Scorpio. Find out what's going on February time look inside yourself and healing examine what is causing you to feel this way imagine yourself and your beloved one surrounded by light okay let's see what this is the king of wands all right that's that sagittarius that aries that leo yes oh oh this is a deep love here, you guys. 
it's like it's someone that's been really waiting to wrap their arms around you and like kind of take you in a deep embrace a very deep embrace it's like something about it's something about this person's body type it's like you like squeezing this person's butt like you see how she's squeezing this person's butt it's like i've been waiting to kind of squeeze and hold on it's like Y'all love each other, like that, that body type. I don't know, it's like y'all desire, it's like y'all's body type or something like that. It's like, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little, the butt, like y'all look crazy. The two of wands, like these are people that, there's been a big delay with them having, it's like been a delay in movement, a delay in communication or something. It's been... You're trying too hard, though. It's like, I feel like someone might be trying too hard to kind of force healing or something. It's like someone trying too hard, trying to make their self get over whatever it is that... Because someone's not taking action, someone's not moving forward. It's like... There's a block in communication. Wands can represent communication. There's a block in togetherness. Like, um, there's no action being taken forward. It's like someone is too busy second guessing their moves, but it's like at the same time, it's like they want to have this form of passion, of this connection. They want to have this embrace. They want to have and hold this person and i feel like this person might be trying very hard right now to like force healing force getting over something force making itself look inside to examine like what the fuck it is like why won't i take this next action step what is this the three of wands in the reverse so it's like a delay to kind of okay so and again, like, this is these people, like, being together in a passionate embrace. It's like, and then the fall, it has something to do with the fall. It has something to do with the fall, y'all. So, something happened during the fall season. I feel like this person was set to leave something behind and to move forward and kind of like sell off in the sunset because it's like they they believe that their life would be better suited in a different direction um they've been waiting for a chance to leave but it's been like one delay after another that's been causing a conflict that's been causing it's been causing an issue with this person being able to talk to, being able to express, being able to move. Like, something is happening that is causing a lack of movement. And all you see is this person wanting to make this connection, have this talk, have this embrace, have this togetherness with someone that is not happening. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not happening. It's like, only thing I want to do is just... Have a communication. Have a conversation. Maybe over some bread and some wine. Discuss certain things. I see the shotgun in the back. I see the bow and arrow. So, and I see this, this, this light in the back. And even you can see like how she's rubbing his leg. And it's like... The shotgun to me represents like a spark. Like when you shoot a shotgun, it's a bullet being burst into flames. It's like a bullet like being shot in the heart or being shot by Cupid's arrow. You know what I'm saying? Like being shot in the heart, being shot by Cupid's arrow. I feel like whoever this is, and then both of them are wearing green. You see how both of them got on the green. He has on the brown. She, I think, is this green and yellow? Like, she has on... Whoever this person is right now, I feel like this woman is very happy in her life. I feel like this woman with this red hair, she's feeling very vibrant, very... Uh, she's feeling very vibracious. She's very 
um, confident. Um, she has a lot of sex appeal. She has a lot of, like, she's very creative. She's very funny. She's very athletic, too. She's very sporty. Um, and with this fall right here, I feel like this fall... I feel like something was supposed to happen in the fall, but with this orange on right here, I feel like this person was not ready to express their feelings right there because that's this sacral chakra. It's like with this brown cloak, it's like this person has been trying to cloak their desires and their feelings to kind of leave something behind and move forward. With something and someone that they know expresses and exhibits the same passion, the same desire. Um, someone that has their own sense of happiness, has their own, that's draped in love. You know, like, has a strong sense of love and happiness in who they are um, and expresses it. This is someone that kind of shot them in their heart, that hit them with Cupid's arrow this is somebody that gives them a grounding sensation, nurturing, you know, like they like to talk a lot over food or maybe they have a connection and a passion over food and communication. And this is someone that I feel like they both can express their heart to. And this, like I said, this person is always in a constant state of happiness that brings them grounded, you know, that brings them to a point where they're grounded. Um, I feel like these two could have fell with this fall. Maybe y'all might have fell in love with each other. Um, maybe someone met y'all met each other when y'all were 32 or you might be 32 or y'all were with each other for maybe 32 months. I don't know, but I definitely felt like y'all fell in love with each other. It was like an instant attraction. It was something where... It was like love at first sight. So it's a constant flame burning. And you still have that Cupid arrow and that shotgun. So I'm feeling like this is someone. There's a lot going on right here. There's a lot going on right here. And like I said, this person has been waiting and wanting to have this embrace. Wanting to have this embrace. It's something about the bodies being connected. It's just, that's just the way it's supposed to be, like almost. And like, even the way, like, she feels kind of like, even like how daring she is to even just grab his ass like that. It's like no one else kind of does that to him, nor do I really think that he allows anybody to like grab his ass and do shit like that. I feel like this woman, it's like they're saying like she just does something to me. She does something to me, you know, she does something to me. And like he loves like she might even have like a little petite little booty or something like that. But it's like she's so sexy like she's not too much she's just enough like in like well proportioned in every way do you understand um but there's like why give me give me the heart of this king of wands what's going on with this king of wands oh y'all and i just ordered some new decks too i cannot wait for them to get here y'all thank you guys so much for y'all love and support because we're gonna be getting into the nitty gritty y'all know how i like to go deep come on now king of wands tell me the energy behind this king of wands the knight of pentacles okay want to be able to make a solid offer like i'm not coming to you with this bullshit in the chariot okay y'all could be dealing with um well, I mean, we got everything out here but the air sign. We definitely have the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, we have the Capricorn. Uh, we got the Capricorn, Virgo. A no, no, no. Mm -mm. I do feel like there's an Aquarius energy out here, though. But I'm sorry, you guys. It's that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy out here. Most definitely, we got the Chariot out here with that Cancer energy. Okay. Oh, we got the Wheel. Okay. I am reloaded. So, 
it's like you are all of these women in one and oh oh <laughs> i am reloaded so i don't know what it is about you scorpio but this person they they want to be able to make you a solid offer you see how like she got that black hair but she got the streaks and stuff in it and it's like you see how sultry she is i feel and then also you got to check out this right here with this the wheel of fortune it's like you have so many different personalities wrapped up in you. It's like one day you might be given brunette. Another day you might give the sultry red. Another day you might give that deep, dark black hair. It's like you have so many different... Then you might give the blonde. It's like you're the magician. You are the magician, Scorpio. Do you understand? It's like this person realized I don't even have to cheat. Because, like, every day, this person just changes up their energy, changes up their style, changes up their swag. You know, it's like the lines of communication, the lines of, communi uh, of, of, of affection, in love. This person is constantly daunting on me, taking care of me, always checking up on me. It's like, it's a magical connection. It's like something that is going to constantly uh, what am i it's i'm hearing titillate someone titillate look titillate it's going to constantly titillate this motherfucker okay bitch like you got that you you got hold on you got that vibe ooh vibe you got it yes it's like you got the vibe you have the vibe you are titillating you are mm it's like this person really wants to examine all of the different energies, all of the different personalities. It's like one minute this Scorpio could be very intellectual and y'all could talk about like politics and y'all could talk about serious stuff. And then and another turn, this person is very silly and very, you know, funny and fascinated with like mysteries and um talking about like aliens and like the occult life and just always doing some weird shit that is very interesting and strange but it's kind of alluring as well and then at the same time this person has this very professional demeanor when they go to work you know what I'm saying can be very serious have that very nice mother or fatherly or just like that nurturingness where they can take care of the, uh, the family, the home, the kids, like they have all of that. And then they got that secret, dark, mysterious, sexual, it, like it's so much shit. It's like this. I'm trying to tell you, this person looks at it like I got so much different shit wrapped all up in one in this one person. I don't know how this person pulls off all of the shit that they do, but they are magical. It's like I don't have to look. I don't have to search. I don't have to go nowhere because I'm constantly being um, stimulated by this person. Like this person understands. They get my energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like they almost it's like someone has you in the palm of their hands. Look, titillating girl you got him drinking from your tits honey yes it's like I, I don't know what you did to this person but it's like all forms of communication are being expressed like even you see those two little bluebirds down there drinking together like exploring laughing ex to the luxury just like ugh like even you see this you see the ladder it's like this person you have the ability to climb the ladder and I want to say this person is willing to climb the ladder to kind of get to you. It's like if you're not going to listen to me this way, I don't give a fuck if I got to put a ladder up at your apartment door and knock on your window. Like even though I guess that do kind of sound creepy like motherfucker don't be climbing no ladders knocking on nobody's window. But it's like I feel like this person might go to extreme levels to get some type of communication is like they they are willing to climb a ladder and <laughs> knock on a window or something like that which I know that sounds really strange but I don't 
I don't know why I don't feel like the Scorpio is I don't feel like the Scorpio is creeped out by that I feel like this <laughs> Scorpio is going to look at it like wow you went through all of this shit to like communicate with me it's and, and this person is saying you changed my life like you changed my life like you changed my life it's like they feel strong like whoever this it's like whoever this is feels very strong it feels very powerful and just feels very determined and it's like someone manifesting and using their tools it's like i feel like the scorpio taught someone it's like even this embrace i want to say like this is an embrace of thankfulness like you know like i'm so thankful for just all of the stuff that you taught me or you just like you taught me to be stronger you taught me to be loyal you taught me my strength you taught me my weaknesses you taught me that i was a leader like you you taught me a lot of things about myself and i feel like this person with these boots on i feel like these people this person is able to walk strong knowing they're feeling they're draped they're, they're cloaked. They're cloaked in that happiness right now. Remember, that's that solar plexus. That's knowing exactly what they want to do, you know, and they're embracing. Because remember, I told you this woman, this woman, she wears her yellow and her green. You understand her heart chakra and her solar plexus. She knows exactly who she is. She knows exactly what she wants to do. Her heart set on it. It's like she she's she brings a certain type of glow. The same energy that she's cloaked in. I feel like how she wearing. You see her boots are like this red. It's like this amber red or something. That's that root chakra. This person knows exactly who she is. Do you understand? She comes bare. She comes pure. She comes naked. I don't know if this woman doesn't have any problem with being naked in the public. It's a Scorpio. She probably doesn't have any problem with exhibition, being an exhibitionist. Like, I feel like this person is very comfortable in who she is. And this man understood his purpose and his fire and his element and... I feel like he definitely knows who he is and what he feels. And now he's cloaked in his own happiness as well. And you see, the, there goes those fall leaves. It's something, whatever it is that made this person fall in love with her, I feel like he wears something of hers. It's something of hers. Something. Because he fell in love with her. I want to say when he first saw her or maybe he's just first seeing her now and it's like this this uh, embrace right here is but I don't feel like this person this person is having some problem with movement and I, I'm sorry I, I done jumped into this and then I done put this down so like I said this person you see he wants to be able to offer the page of pen I mean no it's not the page of pentacles the knight of pentacles is someone that might take a long time to initiate action with something because they take a long time sitting back and planning and strategizing and making sure that they're making the right approach that they're making the right investment because it's like I don't like have you ever like bought a house or something like that and it's like you know a whole bunch of people are putting bids in for the same house and it's like I could pay cash so you know how most people, when they're paying cash for something, they always try to come down with a lower bid because they're making a cash offer. But it's like at the same time, I don't want to offend the buyer. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to offend the owner that I'm trying to buy this from. So I feel like this person where this person might come through and make a whole cash offer and actually might try to put like a little bit extra on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Just to outbid and just because I feel like this person might have been sizing up the competition and, you know, they don't want to. It's like they've been watching and studying almost 
like other people falling on their face like other people riding up to this girl like making offers and she like continuously walks right by them like they never spoke to her at all so I was like I'm studying my competition and I'm taking a little bit more time because I want to take the direct approach because I'm not going to get denied you know like the Knight of Pentacles does not put their self out there to be made a fool out of or to lose investments you know what I'm saying so I'm not going to be outbid. I'm not going to be outbought. I'm not going to be outshined. Do you understand? Like, I'm different than the rest. I'm not just about to jump out there fast and just make myself look like a fool. I want this person to know I'm serious. And I'm serious, serious. And when I rode up on her, she ain't going to keep walking. She going to stop. She going to stop. Trust me. Do you get me? She gonna stop. You got that chariot card right here. It's like, I don't know if this person knows, like, the way that you walk going to work or, like, your routine or something. It's like, I feel like this person is going to catch you. It's like this person is going to catch you and pull up on you while you're in a commute or something like that like this person is going to catch you in commute i feel like this person knows your routine like they've been paying attention to your work schedule like when you do certain things and like i said how other people jumped out there and they seen you cold reject them and so they know what not to do and they're emotionally sure that they want to make this approach and like this okay they go confirmation this time they're actually coming. You know what I'm saying? Like it might have taken some time, but they've been studying you basically. That's what I've been getting. They've been waiting for this embrace. And when they come, and then it's like it's been some type of fantasy or the desire for y'all to have. It's like, do you see, it's like this person has been fantasizing and it has like a strong desire with that whip. Like, you see how he's just like slowly reaching out just to touch her a little bit. It's like, this person has really been hoping and desiring for this. But there has, there was a delay in this person being able to make an approach. This is so interesting. I want to go. And, I'm sorry because I'm a Scorpio. I want to find out. I want to go deeper, y'all. Let's go deeper. Let's go get the, let's get the Kipper deck. Yes, because I was like, I want to know more. The Spirit said the Kipper. <laughs> the Kipper. Yes. Listen, if the Kipper deck. Thank you guys so much because y'all surely donated this one too. Thank you guys so much for all your donations through the Amazon wish list. That's how we go deep like this. And I'm trying to tell y'all I got three new decks coming through. So y'all look out for that in March. So give me guidance. What was causing the delay? What was causing the delay? Expectation. And it came out in the reverse. So I feel like this is saying like this person didn't think that the they were waiting on you. It's that you, okay, so what caused the delay is this person felt like you were not waiting for them to come back or you were not expecting them. So if this is someone that is a completely new connection and I feel like this person, they have, they feel like you have no expectation for their want or desire for you or something like this. Like this could be someone... It's like, this could be someone that you least expected or something like that. So it's like, they are trying to plan their approach because like I said, they've seen other people get rejected and this is the person that you least expect that you see coming to you, you know? Or this is someone that is from your past that they feel like you stop expecting them to come back and you're not even paying attention to them, you know? What is this? The toil and labor. This is someone, what the fuck? What the hell do y'all want? Shit. My bad. So with all of that communication and like that, I feel like that, like you stop communicating with someone because it might have been too much toil and labor. Okay? 
so because that was just a lot coming in and I haven't even checked it so it's like they feel like maybe they've been sending you a lot of messages and you haven't been they just stop expecting you to respond back I don't know if maybe you will block someone like you're not receiving someone's messages or communication or something like that yeah, and they said, I'm not getting nothing back. Like, I'm not getting any feedback. It's like they're not even expecting you to call anymore. They're not expecting you to reply to their text messages anymore. Because it's like you stop. It's like you stop the toll and label of whatever drama of the situation. So it's like, I'm getting two different things. So I'm reading this for people that know each other and for people that don't know each other. So for the people that don't know each other, I feel like, not saying that y'all don't know each other. Y'all know of each other and y'all are around each other, but y'all don't know each other on this level. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like someone is trying too hard a little bit. To kind of get someone to notice you. This is someone that I feel like isn't expecting you. That probably doesn't know that you admire them. And their sense of style. And how creative they are. And like. It's something about the magnetic and the magical energy of this person. That kind of changed this person's life. Because they realize the type of woman or the type of man that they desire someone that their energy changes them and makes them feel powerful and it's like they really really want to communicate with this person and be able to communicate with this person on a different level and like it's like a lot of communication though it's like y'all Y'all vibrate on the same frequency. It's like a lot of talking. It's like a lot of back and forth. It's like very, very heavy. And this person likes that. And I feel like you guys do talk to each other heavily. But the person that you're desiring, that this King of Wands is desiring, is not expecting someone to come at them like this. This is not, like this person that you desire does not know that you like them. This toil and labor in the in the reverse, like this is someone that y'all can have like a stressful job or something, like y'all work with each other, or this could be someone that um maybe you would have to stop working at this job together in order for you to express this type of communication. This could be a type of job where it's like a no fraternizing policy. So it's like you can't let this person know. Or kind of suspect or expect that you trying to deal with them on this level like that. Because I feel like this could be some situation where you guys work with each other. And possibly someone might need to change departments before they can make that action forward. That's, that, that's honestly what I'm getting. It's like I'm feeling like someone may need to change department or something like that. Someone may need to change department. Now, if this is a situation where this is someone that you damn well know. This is someone that you damn well know. This is someone that you feel like changed your life. This is someone that you can't wait to embrace again and have some communication with. This is someone that you love to the point where you just, you like to watch this person sleep. You know, you... And this person, I feel like y'all haven't had some time together in a while. This is someone that you are expecting not to come back or they're expecting you not to come back. This might have been a relationship that in the past there was a lot of toil and labor and someone walked away from that because of the toil and labor. Like they put too much work into it and now they are no longer willing to stress themselves out you know so there could be block communication um it's like this person's not expecting you no more it's too much drama too much trouble 
concern like there's a lack of concern so that's why this person is that's what the delay is because they feel like this person isn't expecting me no more like um it was too much drama this person looks at me like or this situation or maybe the situation in the past was too much toil and labor and this is the last of their concern like they're not even expecting anything from me but it's like they're 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 longing for this touch for this embrace um they have been planning on moving forward and they are moving but it doesn't seem like they're moving but they're definitely moving because the chariot card is here like and not only are they moving but they most definitely have some passion and sexual desires there i mean that whip is there i mean this person is literally the mature woman the mature woman but there's a mature woman in the reverse too so there could be some immature woman in the picture there could be some immature woman in the picture thoughts and poverty so yeah so now it's just that it just went another way as well. So there could be a certain situation where this person might not be expected to come back because um, someone dropped the toil and labor. There's no more concern in regards to this situation because either this person is a mature woman and they feel like this would not be mature for me to continue to affiliate myself where there would be so much stress and toil and labor um and for someone that could possibly not have concern about this mature woman do you understand whoever this is whoever this is i feel like there could be an immature woman in the picture because there's thoughts of this one you know, this person has been painting a perfect picture in their mind about this one. So, it's like so many different ways I could read this. And then, they want to walk away from stress and poverty or something like that. So, this person doesn't expect them to come back. Because they walked away from the toil, and a the toil and labor. They're not even concerned about the situation anymore. Because maybe this person is... In a situation with an immature woman. However, thinking about the mature woman. And trying to escape some level of poverty. That is interesting. That is interesting. But however, they know where they want to go. And they're making careful planning. To make sure that there's right approach. Okay. This is someone that they want to have a new world with. The... Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. This is someone that they feel like. This is someone that they feel like. Is a blessing in their life. And gives them. A whole bunch of different life dynamics. All in one. They're magnetic. They're manifesting this person. And they're manifesting communication. Yo. I'm really, really feeling like this person does not expect communication. They do not expect communication and they're not concerned about this person anymore because they stop dealing with the toil and labor in an impoverished situation. They're not concerned anymore. This person is dealing with an immature woman but having heavily thoughts of the mature woman. And the mature woman it's not even completely not even in the picture. This person is trying to get out of an impoverished situation. Like maybe they might be going through some type of financial struggles with someone that is not as mature. And the person that they're thinking of is not even concerned about this person at all. Not even expecting this person to, commun to communicate or even want communication. Okay, what is this? past life relationships so yeah this is someone from your past this is most definitely someone from the past you've known each other before 
you've known each other before. Hmm. Free yourself. Yeah, this person has to free themselves from this immature woman. I told you. Whoever this person that they want to have this embrace that they're moving towards, this just taking them a long ass time. Because they had to get their emotions together. Like I told you, they had to get they had to get their feelings together. They had to be in a place where they're able to walk strongly in exactly what they feel and know what they feel. Because remember, I told you, this girl is already rooted in who she is. Like, her boots were red. But this, had to, this person had to be able to walk out and free themselves based off of what they feel. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Um... It's like this person wants to. It's like this person wants to wisp them away and like. What did I say something about like a knight in shining armor or something? Was I saying that before? Or am I fucking tripping? I don't feel like I'm fucking tripping. I don't know if I said that in this reading or in another reading, but it's like. It's like this person. Wants to free herself for something and wisp off in a honeymoon in another direction. What is this? Religious factors is in the reverse. I feel like there is someone has a problem with like commitment because this is like my Pope card, but this is my Hierophant card. This is my Hierophant card in the reverse. I feel like you guys have different senses of commitment or just like religious values or something like one person may believe in marriage and the other person doesn't believe in marriage or something like that it's like what is this heart to heart conversation so it's like this this is someone that you've definitely dealt with before um you might have already freed yourself from this person it might have Wisp off in, into a honeymoon situation with someone else, you know. Um, you might have soon found out that this person might not have the same structure or sense of values as you, and you need to have a heart to heart conversation, okay? So, chemistry. I'm going to read this two different ways. So this is for the person that's dealing with the Scorpio. Because I'm getting two different situations here. I'm getting the, the person that... I'm getting the energy of this King of Wands. It's like this King of Wands is still stuck in his past life relationship. Clearly. Right? They need to free themselves from this. The person that they have in their mind in this past life relationship isn't thinking about them. They dropped the toilet labor a long time ago. They're not concerned with them. They feel like they chase after immature women. This woman or this person knows that this person from their past still thinks about them. But they're still in a, a poverty situation that they have to free themselves of. This is someone that has some type of lack mentality. It's like they'd rather grovel in the dirt and, instead of cleaning themselves up and trying to want something better for their self you know like i've left that lifestyle i've left the ghetto i left the ghetto mentality you understand whoever this scorpio is don't even think like that don't live like that no more at all right so this person needs to free their self from this right they want to I feel like whoever they're dealing with, this immature person, they might have breakup to make up honeymoon periods with this person. There, there, there is no true connection or no sense of value. It's someone here with this religious factors in the reverse. Someone wants one thing and another person wants another. And you need to have a heart to heart conversation with this person. And like it says, free yourself because you long for this past life relationship and there's no chemistry. And where they currently stand right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? And at the same time, to read it the other way. Okay? Because they still love this past life. This person in their past life. They're needing to free themselves. Because they want to wish this person in their past life off. Off into this honeymoon. 
they need to get away. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they need to get away. And I feel like talk about the things in the past where they weren't on the same page in regards to commitment and they weren't on the same religious factor. I feel like there needs to be a conversation about that because that's why that's what fucked up their lack of chemistry and that's where things went all off and I feel like this person wants to talk about this with this past life person because at the end of the day that person didn't understand what they want and where they were going and I feel like this person understands that now that's why I might have took a long time to make this approach but I feel like this person knows who and what they wanted to embrace and where they want to be it's just there was a delay in them making some movements because they don't even think that the person cares about them or thinks about them anymore or even sees them coming because they think that this person looks at them that they still deal in the trash with immature people and is still in the gutter dealing with some type of toilet labor and this person doesn't live that type of life anymore. All right. right now this is about to be long as fuck up oh, offer just flew out on the table it's definitely going to be an offer made you guys let's see it's and i heard you fill my cup this person has come to the conclusion it's like you have the key to their heart you fill their cup you fill their cup oh okay what just fell all on the floor damn there's a lot of stuff that has fell on the damn floor. So let's see here. Ooh! Lessons. Third party. Karmic. Mass. Soulmate. Summer. Inner child. And what does it say? Compromise. This is all in the reverse. God damn. So this person is ready to make an offer here. Okay? It looks like they've already come to conclusion. You got the key. Yeah, they you got the key and that's the lock, you know? It's like you're the only person that can unlock whatever this is that's inside of them because I feel like this person has been hurting for some reason, like and you're the one that has the access to you you're the one that has the access. I feel like they in the past they didn't want to come to a compromise in a love situation. It's they weren't willing to compromise and they were really selfish because like this inner child shit like they weren't willing to let go and grow up you know I feel like they don't want to spend another summer without this connection because I feel like they're not with their soulmate they have a mask on right now they're in a karmic partner relationship that they're trying to let go and get out of okay they're with the karmic all right, this is a third party situation. You hear me? A karmic third party situation. And these are in a reverse. So it might be something that they regret. And then it also said that they have a mask on with whoever this person is. And the lesson is in the reverse. So it, it to me, it feels like. Anyway, so it feels like it's been a hard lesson almost for this person, or it's might it seems like it might be a lesson that this person is is is. is <clears throat> it's like let me get one on this because it was like this was a hard lesson for this person to learn, but for some reason with that book being in the. It's like the book, the book and that lesson being in the reverse. I'm feeling like they still ain't learned their lesson. Community. It's like this person had to learn a hard lesson to like not be so open to the community. You know, like this person was like community property, community dick, community puss. You know, like and they got caught up in a situation with a karmic partner, a third party situation. This person is in despair. This person did not 
demonstrate a sense of loyalty. And this person possibly feels like you're not. Remember, I told you this person feels like you're not even paying attention, like you're not hiring, you know. Like this is a lonely dog. False person, like this person got caught up with a false person that they don't want to be with, that they regret. Thinking that there was going to be some great fortune that was going to come out of it. Mm. What is this? A message of concern. They want to send a message of concern. In regards to this family room. What's, what's going on with that? Imprisonment. Why does this always come up in the in the in the <laughs> in the Scorpio reading? So it's like this person, I feel like they got caught up with someone from their community. Ever from their community or something like that that they regret getting involved with. They feel I feel like the only reason why they got involved with this person is because you weren't hiring. You weren't concerned about them. You walked away from the despair and all of that shit. Like, you left them out there in the community that they wanted to be in. And they got hooked up with the false person thinking that there was going to be some type of great riches or some type of great fortune or something. And they're being left in a place of despair. Like I told you, it was with a karmic, someone that was a karmic lesson for this person. Because they were too busy keep one of cheat and deal with third party situations and it looks like it was a hard lesson for them to learn because right now they're in a place of despair they feel like they're imprisoned in this family room and they might want to send you a message of concern so like they might be feeling like they're in prison and trapped in this family like they're in prison and they want to send a message of concern but I feel like they can't find a way out or something like that but they've come to a conclusion and they made, they've made their mind up. They know that they want to make an offer to you and they're coming towards you. But it's, it's something that they're going to communicate with you about. There's some concern about them not being able to get out of some type of family dynamic with this family room right here. And this imprisonment. Let's get this last spread and get the hell on up out of here, y'all. This is crazy. It's like, I don't even know if this is the Scorpio trying too hard. I don't think Scorpio got a motherfucking thing to do with this shit. I feel like this is someone, because you know how sometimes when you get your reading and the energy that the reader is picking up is not you, it's people around you that they're making you aware of. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of people cross watch and that's why people, that's why sometimes you're like, why are you always picking up on this? Not my energy. This is my ex energy. Cause your ex is cross watching. That's why they're picking up on your ex's energy. And that's why spirit is trying to tell you what's going on around you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because clearly there is someone here. Either it's the Scorpio. Or it's the person dealing with the Scorpio. Do you understand? And they're clearly, they clarify this. This is someone that you know. This is someone that you know. Have it be that this is someone that you've already been with. Or this is someone, like I said, that you work with. In some type of capacity. And they can't make a move and let their feelings be known until they change departments or something. It's like someone's got to change departments. But it's like they might be trapped and can't. Give me guidance. Oh, God. My heart is still going to fall out. Let's see here. We got the flatterer in reverse. Wow. Okay. So let me pull all of this out and see if I want to read these in the reverse. Chattering. Okay. We got the trip to the country in the back. In the reverse. We got the presence in the reverse. We got the delay in the upright. <laughs> we got the infantism. We have the dark haired woman in the reverse with the four of spades, Lord Jesus. And then you got the loss of money. Okay, yeah, I got to read it like like the way it is, okay? Because I, I like, what, do, am I going to have to start reading these cards in the upright and reverse now? Because I typically don't never do that, but it, it's like that for a fucking reason. So at the end of the way, at the end of the day, listen, 
Okay, so this person wants to like send a message to you and wants to flatter you and wants to have a communication. I feel like this for mm -hmm. some way you've helped someone with their growth and helped someone be able to see how much of a king that they are, you know. Help them understand what it is that they feel and be able to make actions on what they feel. Um, they want to flatter you. They want to give you this communication. They want to give you your praises, but they fucking can't because they're scared motherfuckers going to be running their goddamn mouth to people and it's going to cause some conflict in their damn life. Do you understand what I'm saying? The seven of diamonds represents like a large lump sum of money. So it's for some reason, and then this is like... Um, right here, this is the Jack of Clubs. So the Jack of Clubs means this could be someone that you work with or someone that's a work environment or well, Jack of Clubs is someone that's a hard worker and whatever they do, they have to wear their, um, their title on their shirt, on their chest. So it's like whatever you do and whatever you're doing, you have to still wear this title on your chest. So I don't know if this person is, um... If this is a work relationship, it, like I said, this could be a work relationship. Um, if this is something where you're still having to work something out elsewhere and you still have to wear this title. It's, it's like someone still has to wear this title and has to be seen in this title. And they can't be seen flattering you because motherfuckers going to talk about it and it's going to cause a conflict. In their finances. That's going to cost them greatly. Do you understand? The seven of diamonds represents a large quantity of money. Where someone going to come and clean up. You understand? So they want to flatter you. But at the same time. They don't want to get caught being too flattering. Because it's going to cost them. If people start talking. If people start talking. Do you understand? This is... <laughs> this is like this is this might be someone that y'all work with or someone has conflicts with who they work with something it has to do with the work environment because there's too much clubs out here this trip to the country and it's four clubs the four clubs represents a un in the reverse this represents an unhealthy working environment in the upright this represents a healthy work environment like a new office or a new desk or new work furniture or something like that do you understand what i'm saying it's like if people start talking about this i feel like that might cause some disruption in maybe future trips that you wanted to take like maybe you wanting to take some time off it's going to fuck up your job security basically and you might have to find job security in another country another county or something i feel like this has something to do with someone that works closely it has something to do with your money and it's like you don't want you don't want you flirting and making advances to someone else to fuck up your job security. Because if people start talking about it, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And this is the presence. So, again, this is the nine of goddamn clubs. This is like a lack of job security. Lack of, like, it's going to get in the way of you being able to Securely buy things for yourself, gift and give in a way that you would like to, to ensure that things are working out. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the nine of clubs is someone that's putting in a lot of work that can do it on their own and that can reach success on their own. So this means like they're getting recognition in their job. This means like they are able to purchase a new home, that they're able to gift themselves with a new car because they have standing work, good work relations and good job security. This can even mean like travel or something like that. So it's like I'm not going to be able to gift myself and get myself this new car or buy myself this new work equipment and just not have a job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's like someone is scared that they're not going to have a job because it's like someone is going to tell, someone's going to gossip. Um, 
And it's like someone's going to tell, someone's going to gossip if they catch me talking to this person. I don't know if... It's just, it's like you got to snitch at your job or something. Like, you got to snitch at your job. You got to snitch at your job. Motherfuckers that if they see you doing something you're not supposed to do, they going to snitch on you and they going to try to take your job security from you because they don't want you flirting or, or, or giving to someone. So it's like someone that's willing to cause a blockage, cause a delay. They're going to cause an ending. They're going to throw rocks at your advances so wherever it is you trying to go you see this motherfucker throwing rocks you know what i'm saying it's like they're going to try to hurt your advances so that you can't get where you're going they want to stop it do you understand so yo that's crazy as fuck like you got you literally got someone like willing to hurt you to cause a delay that's crazy that's a confirmation you got emphasism in the reverse. So this is this is someone that because you got someone right here because clearly with the ace of spades, that's the death card. Mm -hmm. So that's somebody that's trying to end something to go and start something new somewhere else. That's that Phoenix moment. They see that someone is burning down the complete habitat, the environment, everything. I'm getting rid of every motherfucking thing because I want to create something anew. And if someone said, no, bitch, you're not, I bet you you won't. I bet you you won't. So remember, this is someone that is, it's a delay in them being able to go. It's, it, it, it. Remember, the two of wands and the three of wands. Remember the three of wands is somebody leaving the past behind and moving on towards the future. And someone said, motherfucker, you not going no motherfucking where. So you guys could. You guys could very much so be trying to leave a. It's like leave a job or leave. Mm, 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 mm. It's like whatever you're doing, I feel like would leave someone else in complete ruin because who is this person throwing this motherfucker rock at you trying to cause this delay someone is throwing a rock trying to cause someone is trying to sabotage the scorpio from leaving and going somewhere else or someone is trying to sabotage someone coming towards scorpio because they don't want this person to be able to show up bearing gifts showing show up with job security show up with money do you understand what i'm saying they don't want someone to be able to show up. This is someone that's extremely childish and does not want to grow up. This is someone that is like not willing to accept failure and will stoop to very childish, very childish behavior um, in order to cause some level of havoc or something like that. This is, this is someone that doesn't want to take responsibility with this number eight. The number eight is someone that takes responsibility. Is is, is someone that is authoritative. Is someone that is a manifester. Is someone that rep recognized as above, so below. So with this infantism, with this childish shit here, like it's like, I can't have my way. Mm. So they're willing to stoop to very low levels to do things. But they don't give a fuck about the consequences. Do you understand? It's like someone throwing a temper tantrum and not understanding or giving a fuck about how childish and how stupid they look. They're not taking no authority. It's like, I can't have my way, so I'm just going to destroy everybody. If I can't have it, everybody, can't nobody have it. You know what I'm saying? So, this is someone that is like, that's the person that's causing a delay right here. It won't just let sleeping dogs lie. Like, you see how this dog is right here? It's like, I, it won't just let sleeping dogs lie. The ten of spades is basically, everything is destroyed. Like, completely ruined. Like, that's like the, just this is someone that feels like they got stabbed in the back. Like, they got double crossed. Or, Yeah. But won't just let sleeping dogs lie. It's like instead of me just crying it out and getting over it and just putting myself in a position where I can start all over, I'm going to 
fuck everybody up that I feel like try to fuck over me or something like that. Not willing to let something go. Won't let sleeping dogs lie. This is someone that is a dark haired woman. It says a dark haired woman here. This is in the reverse. Now the now the four of spades re recognizes someone that needs to take a rest. Someone that um, might need to talk to a psychologist. Someone that is sick. Have mentally sick, physically sick, that needs to take a rest and that needs to relax and decompress and kind of get their self together um, for health's sake before they hurt themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that needs to go on bed rest, that really needs to slow down because it's like you you you're exhausting yourself. You're not able to pay your music right because you see her sitting up here studying her music notes, spoke about to be able to perform or something, but it's like you are not able to pay your music right because you are too stressed. You won't lay down. You won't stop doing whatever it is. It's like you're trying too hard because it's you don't want to allow yourself to become a victim bro i feel like this is like somebody i don't feel like this has any fucking thing to do with the scorpio i feel like this has something to do with people around the scorpio and people around the people around the scorpio because right now i don't even feel like this is anything to do with the scorpio and then the loss of money in the reverse and this is the five of spades the five of spades represents again someone feeling like they got stabbed in the back someone got cut out someone got cut off and it says that they don't want to remember i told you this is like someone that's like it's like they're not going to become a victim. And they are just like, Brody. That's why they throwing these rocks. They're trying to delay someone from getting away, from starting over. They don't want this person to go to wherever they're going. Giving presents and being happy. Like the nine of, the nine of clubs represents someone that's successful in their business, that's successful in their work. It's like you're not going to go... If you leaving me, you're not leaving me with that job. You're not leaving me with that job. Do you understand? You're not going to another county or to another country or to another work location and think you're going to set up over there and everything going to be good. You're not going. You're not leaving me and going to another job. They go that. They go that bundle of money that I was talking about. Remember, I told. Listen, this person is thinking about a loss of money. This person is not willing to allow sleeping dogs to lie. You're not going to. Just walk away from me like that. I'm not going to rest. I'm not going to take it easy. It's like you're not just going to cut out like that. You're not just going to cut me out like that. Mm, mm, mm. This person wants to go somewhere and be flattering to another job, another something. And this person has money. This person has something. This person has something. But they're not going to let them move forward and give it. Because remember, this is someone trying to flatter someone. It's someone trying to come and make an offer. They come to a conclusion. The chariot. It might have took them a long time. But, bro, this is fucked up. This is crazy, yo. So, like, listen, Scorpio. I don't, I don't know. Y'all take this shit how it resonates. But it's someone that I feel like is coming towards you. It looks like they got mixed up with a false person. Thinking that things are going to turn to some great fortune. They might have met this person messing around out there in the community doing the shit that they do. It seems like they're in prison. They might have some type of child with this person. Or they have some type of commitment to this family room or some type of family obligation. This person has came to a conclusion that they want to make this offer towards you. It might be taking them some time. But they coming. They want to make sure that they're not getting rejected. They're not going to get rejected. Because they're going to see this embrace. But there is someone that is like literally trying too fucking hard to stop this person. They want to keep this person in prison. Do you understand? 
they see great fortune still because remember it's about a loss of money this false person here you understand this person doesn't want to be with this false person no more they're in despair they're trying to get away from this person because they met this person in the community and I feel like they regret this shit that's why it's like there's this message of concern. They're trying to escape the poverty. They're thinking about the mature woman while they're stuck with this immature woman. They feel like you don't even have any concern about them anymore because you stopped putting up the fight and dealing with the drama and the toil and labor. And you're not even expecting this person anymore. You long forgot about them, Scorpio. But this is what this person is dealing with. This person had a heavy ass lesson to learn about third party karmic ass shit. And I feel like they're not able to get away from it. And it's something still I feel like they still haven't really learned their lesson because they still got this mask on a little bit. Like they still got this mask on, bruh. They still got this mask on. I feel like it's because they're dealing with someone interfering with them doing what it is that they want to do. And they're allowing someone to interfere. And this person is trying too hard. And they need to look inside their self to see what is causing them to feel this way. What is it? Why? Whoever this person is interfering and whoever this is is trying to leave. It's like you are trying too hard. Give it time. Look inside yourself and examine what is making you feel this way. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved one surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Okay? So, I feel like this is like a whole bunch of messages for a whole bunch of people. Like, this is like messy. Like, this is like messy, 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 messy. So, you guys, listen. Whoever is the person that is completely not concerned about any of this shit. I want you to know motherfuckers is concerned about you, okay? For whoever is not concerned, you are in the best place that you can ever be because this is messy, messy, messy. For the ones that are not concerned, you got a whole lot of motherfuckers deeply concerned about you. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.